in today's video going to show you a free result web application for your students so they can easily check their results let's take example this is my roll number and i just simply click on this get result so when i click on this get result as of now you can able to see here the student result successfully being come and we can easily and student can easily able to check them okay so if they want to make a print result they can simply click on this print result so the print should be like that okay so how you can set up it and how you can add more uh, students so this is a student result system created by using the google sheet as database and google web app script for the web application front end okay so this uh, web application is also mobile friendly so if you will see on the mobile you can see the interference something like that okay so if you change the mobile version like take example this so you can also check out them this is mobile friendly so if i change the roll number and click on this get result so now you can able to see here the second student result successfully being come here okay now how you can add a more students you can simply write here the 16 and now you can add here the pin 016 okay now i will just give him a name the ramis okay and the number okay the 80 and the second thing i will add here the 78 and again i will add here the 45 and again the 67 and what is my percentage I can easily add here my percentage okay so I just copy this particular pin ID or uh, just come to the here and paste it here and click on this get result so when I click on this get result so you can easily able to see here uh, the result of our newly added student will be successfully being displayed here the student name the pin number and the serial number and their uh, data about the marks obtained okay so how you can change uh, the maximum marks and everything let me show you so when you come to the index.html so on the line number 1000 you can see here the 40 which is uh, which is exactly the maximum marks for the t1 to retest so you can update them okay so let's take example i will make it the 100 and click on this save so when I click on this save and come to my point and I just copy this particular and refresh my web application. So when I refresh my web application and enter the pin number again and click on this get result. So when I click on this get result, now you can able to see here I have successfully changed the maximum marks of that particular P1 theory test one. Okay. Now hope you understand them. Now the question is that how we can set up it in our google drive sir so no worries about that the link of the google sheet is available in the description uh, and when you uh, get the link the uh, view something like that okay so you can simply click on this make a copy and when you click on this make a copy so a copy of that particular google site uh, google sheet and the uh, record of that particular web application is copied successfully in your google drive what you need to do you can simply click on this extensions and click on this app script so when you click on this app script as of now you can able to see here the code is already there and right now this is a sheet one and if you want to change its name you can simply change the name let's take example 10 so you just copy this particular name and go to your index.html and change your sheet name here okay and click on this save so when you click on this save now you simply click on this new deployment and when you click on this new deployment you will select here anyone and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy it will take uh, some authorization access from you to make it a proper web application you can simply click on this authorize access and select with your currently login and where you want to access uh, the gmail okay and then simply click here and click on this allow so when you click on this allow your web application will be authorized successfully and a google web app url will be so something like that you can send this url to your student or you can embed this url 
uh, using iframe in your blogger in your wordpress and anywhere else where you want to embed them hopefully you like this video the code is available in the description go and check out them and learn the coding functions what we have implemented take care